Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I welcome you this morning in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. I welcome you to today's broadcast. I want you, wherever you are, to rise on your feet, lift up your hand and begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Begin to worship him for his goodness and for his mercies. Thank him, worship him, that you are alive today. It is not by your power, it is not by your might, but it's by his power, it's by his grace. Begin to appreciate him that you got up this morning, that you witnessed today's broadcast. Begin to worship him. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his protective covering. Has been the one keeping us alive. Hallelujah. 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 We, before the bishop comes up, we are going to take one or two prayer points. Today's broadcast, we are going to be dealing with irreversible mistake. Begin to talk to God that you not just be. A, a, a witness will not just listen, but God should bless you this morning. Begin to pray that the Lord will touch you this morning. Begin to pray that the Lord will touch you. Begin to pray. Father, touch me this morning. Lord, speak to me through your servant. 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 Lord, I want to hear from your throne. I want to hear from your throne. I want to hear from your throne. Speak to me individually. Speak to me individually. Speak to us as a family. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. That the Lord will come that way wherever you are. Because wherever we are, God is there. God is there with you in your parlor. God is there with you in your room. God is there with you in your sick bed. God is there where you are. Let God touch you. Let the power of God speak. Let the power of God touch you. Let the power of God hit you wherever you are. And do a work in your life. And reverse, and reverse whatever he has not planted in your life. And approve whatever he has not planted in your life. Begin to pray right now. Let the power of God. Let it be upon heaven. 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 Today. Let the power of God come down. Let the glory of God come down. Let the mighty power of the Lord hit you. Let the power hit you. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance ah, this morning. Let there be deliverance this morning. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. That souls will give their life to Christ today. Begin to pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. The second prayer point. That God should help you to deal with every reversible mistakes in your life. Begin to pray that prayer right now. 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 Begin to pray. 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 Every irreversible mistake in your life. Hey, Yaraba Korobo Suni Yaraba. Hey, Yaraba Kassende Rebo Shiri Yaraba. Every irreversible mistake. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rashende Yaraba. Masande Rebo. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to worship him. Thank you for his mercies. Thank you for today's meeting. Masande Yaraba. Oh, Rashende Yaraba. In that Yarabaha, thank him, thank him, thank him. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Hallelujah! Amen. Glory. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank God for that prayer session, and I know. Many of you looked forward to it all over the world. I welcome you again to this broadcast today. And um, we'll try to look at uh, this week and next week some things about uh, mistakes and our humanity. Last week we spoke about the fact that God has this treasure in 18 verses. Why do we make mistakes? Why do we, we are born again, but why do we make mistakes? Because God has this treasure in 18 vessels. God did not put the treasure in celestial vessels. God kept the, tre the treasure, his glory, 
the, the, the born again seed in earthen vessels. And so this vessel we are carrying is earth. And so you, you, you are bound to make one or two mistakes. As you go through life, there's no perfection. We are striving towards perfection. So, but, so you must learn this week and next week some of the secrets of how to keep things going. Glory to God. Before then, I just wanted to also take this song wherever you are. The song is Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. Just the first stanza alone. Let's go. Amazing grace. I love that song so much. How sweet thy sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Wherever you are, lift your hands and take, lift, just worship the, your, your hands and say, Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise God. Praise God. Everybody. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I remember there was a man in the Bible called Peter. <laughs> he loved Jesus. But there was this day as they were crossing with the boat. The storms came. And the battles of life came. And Jesus told him, they were scared, and he said, if it is you, Lord, let me come. And the Lord said only one word, come. And that word, come, was enough to carry him. He was walking on the sea, on the water, and then he made a mistake. We are talking about mistakes. And the mistake he made was that he became afraid lack of faith and he was sinking and as he was sinking he said Lord help me then the Lord quickly drew him out and that reminded me something that the God we serve that my life jacket can walk on the sea my life jacket, my lifeguard works on water. I mean, if you are sinking and you call for your lifeguard and your lifeguard comes and then he has to swim in Nigeria or in Africa or in Asia, I know that people are watching from all over the world. We have our ways of knowing Asia, America, Africa, North America. People are, people are watching right now all over the world. Lifeguard swim, but there's a lifeguard that works on the water. And that is a lifeguard that will make sure no mistake swallows you. That is a lifeguard that would make sure no mistake swallows you. Hallelujah. Amen. No mistake will swallow you. Say to yourself several times, no mistake shall swallow me. Go ahead, want to go. Everybody, go ahead. No mistake shall swallow me. 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 Always remember that when it seems you are drowning in life circumstances, your lifeguard works on water. He will pull you up. I don't care about your past mistakes. He will pull you up. Amen. If you put Peter up, he will pull you up. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. If you put, I don't care the, the amount of mistakes you have made, abortion, arm robbery, even if you were a witch or wizard, you've killed people, you're a liar, you've made financial errors, marital errors, business errors. I have news for you this morning. Your lifeguard walks on water. And your lifeguard does not struggle and swim. He walks on water. 
You may struggle, but he doesn't struggle. He will come to where you are and pull you out. I speak by faith. You are coming out of that mistake. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out. Amen. 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 Say it with confidence. I am, out. I am coming out. Everybody, wherever you are, declare no mistake shall swallow me. No mistake shall swallow me. I shall not sink. I'm rising again. I'm going up again. I am restored. Because my life, God, walks on water. Glory to God for that. Hallelujah. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? Because your amen in this service today will never be in vain. Amen. Your amen will never be in vain. Amen. I want to speak to you that your life will show that there is a God that reverses the irreversible. Yes. And those plotting to make you to go into errors, those plotting your downfall, those plotting to push you into mistakes, the moon will mock them. Amen. The sun will bite them. Amen. Yes. The air they breathe will become acid. Amen. Those planning irreversible mistakes for you, they shall go down. Amen. 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 They shall eat the bread of sorrow. Amen. Can I hear a bigger amen? amen. What do you do after a mistake is made? Wash it off like a dog and flee from its appearance. When you make a mistake, most I, 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 I will also show you why people make mistakes. I will not rush today and, to, and next week. We will end this subject next week. But a mistake, we have said we are human. We have this treasure in 18 vessels. So I'm about to make some wrong business decisions sometimes. Sometimes you are bound to make some wrong decisions in your finance, in your marriage, in your, in your children, in your, in your health, even your health, ministry, pastors, bishops, everybody. But what do you do? Seek for more knowledge in that area. Why did I make that mistake? If Peter asked himself, he would say, I was scared. So I will walk by faith, not by sight. So why did I make that mistake? Where did things go wrong? Seek for help. Read more. Study more. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Most of the mistakes you make is because of lack of knowledge. Don't forget it. So, what do you do when, when the mistake shows up? What you do is reject your heart from condemning you. Know you are human. Don't allow people to pressure you into saying you are a failure. No. Excuse me. You are on this planet. And come on, let them give you some allowance for mistakes, for God's sake. You are human. Give yourself some allowance for mistakes. Give yourself some allowance. Stop saying, well, I'm perfect, I'm this. No, it, don't make deliberate mistakes. But give yourself some allowance for God's sake. You are human. And when it happens, know why it happened. And deal with it. And walk out of it quickly. And don't go back to it. Point number two. And this is very important. I want to look at my eyes clearly today. Hear me carefully. God saw the mistakes you will make till you die before you were born. Somebody's not hearing me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Don't think any mistake you make takes God by surprise. Nothing takes God by surprise. God saw the mistakes you will make before you were born. Your life, your decisions, your errors, the, 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 the wrongs you have done, nothing has taken him by surprise. Isn't that good news for you? That your life God knew, he knows, before you were born, he knew that I would live for 90 years, 50 years, 70 years, for 80 years, and my errors, he knows. That is what, that's great for me, to know that God saw 
my mistakes even before I make them. He knows. Isaiah 46 10 says, declaring from the end, the beginning, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all, all, all my pleasure. I speak to you this morning. Everything God has proposed and his pleasure for you on this earth shall come to pass. Amen. In Jesus' name, the word says, All, all my pleasure. All, all, not one quarter. I decree you will not fulfill your destiny halfway. Amen. That scripture should help you. He said, declaring the end from the beginning. <laughs> oh my goodness. And from ancient times, that means before you were born. Ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Sometimes you kill yourself, you cry. Well, why, why has God allowed this? Oh, why is this happening? Excuse me. And he, what has not been done, he saw it. Even if not yet done, not yet done, not yet done. Listen, this is May 2020. Maybe the mistakes you will make in June this year, you don't know. The mistakes you will make in September, you don't know. But he, but he knows. Your God knows already. He said, the things that are not yet done, say my counsel shall stand. Today I speak to you. No matter your mistakes, your, his counsel shall stand. Amen. No mistake shall stop his counsel from standing. Amen. Come on, shout a big hallelujah. Go, go ahead. Amen. Yeah, because the God you serve, he said, from ancient times, declaring the things that are not yet done. Say my counsel shall stand. So God knows the mistakes to we make. And nothing you have done in your life took God by surprise. Nothing you have done in your life took God by surprise. God is always a step ahead of you. Stop condemning yourself. Stop crying. Stop crying. You will hear about Lot's wife in a few minutes. I mean, later in the service. Stop looking back and condemning yourself. Oh, I'm a stupid woman. Oh, I'm a, I'm a stupid man. Oh, I am this, I am that. No. Your God saw it. Even before you saw it. He has seen your November. He has seen your December. He has seen your next year. He has seen your two years time. He has seen your ten years time. And I'm telling you, God is always a step ahead. You will never go down. And the, the ones you did in your past, he will restore you and reverse them Amen. by mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. I told you yesterday, mistakes increase your experience and experience decrease your mistakes. If you learn from your mistakes than others, learn from your success. So I repeat that. If you learn from your mistakes, then, compared to others, they will learn from your success. I used to tell people, I'm, I've made the biggest mistakes on earth. But you know the wisdom? I learn from every mistake. And today people are saying, this man is worldwide. Our daily manner is worldwide. Things are worldwide. Do you know what led to our daily manner? It was a suicide attempt. I wanted to kill myself. I felt I was worthless. I was useless. I was stupid. I was a small boy then, maybe about say about twenty, about twenty-eight years ago, to thirty years ago. ODM is twenty-three years. <laughs> I battled for almost eight to nine years, condemning myself. Then after that, I said, "Now nah, let me kill myself." And then my father appeared and said, "No." You are going to fulfill destiny. All I wrote about you since you were born, before you were born, it will come to pass. That's how ODM was born. I think I'm the biggest mistake maker on earth today. Yet, look at it carefully. People are learning from my mistakes. Because I learned from it. My success attracts people. 
envy. People fight me. People talk. People love me in millions. There are still some who, who also fight you. So take note of that carefully. Okay? The past can be painful. But the way I say it is, if you, you either run from the past or you learn from it. And the third point is that you are not your mistake. I always say every day, I am not a failure. I'm not my mistake. Don't live in the past thinking that mistakes or changes, you know, but they have made you what you are. No, don't live in the past. I told you last week, your life is in phases. I spoke about yesterday about um, some people being in your history, some people being in your future. Your life is in phases. We all make mistakes. We have struggles. We even regret things we did, <laughs> some publicly, some secretly. But you are not your mistake. You are not your struggle. You are not your struggles, and you are not here now for you to fail. Hallelujah. Amen. All men make mistakes. What I like about mistakes is this. Everybody makes mistakes. So it makes me comfortable. Even those who condemn you, they make mistakes. Those that you envy, they make mistakes. It is one common denominator to everybody. Our humanity hangs there. That we are all the same. Just like death equalizes us, mistakes equalizes us. There is nobody, no bishop, no archbishop, no scientist, no president, that can rise above the mistake factor. Whether in politics or any area. So you better be smart that every mistake you learn from it and let God use it to lift you up. Instead of envying people, instead of condemning yourself, this week you are about to enter, and this season, don't condemn yourself. Look back and celebrate, because your lifeguard will pull you up. Can I hear a very big amen? amen. Why do we make mistakes? One is we ignore details and cautions on small things. People say, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. When you ignore details, you are going to make mistakes. Ignoring little things. Nobody trips over mountains. It is the small stones that can pull you down. Be very thorough. I used to make that mistake. If you give me a, a, a paper, I would say, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it. I, I will, I will just read this, the, the, the building areas. But sometimes, the areas that are not building are the real crucial air things. I was in the UK one time and that thing really affected the, the ministry there because there were some hidden clauses I couldn't read. I had no time, I was busy writing. Blah, blah, blah. No time for little details can lead to mistakes. Even in the church, never assume. Always sign agreements. Don't borrow anybody money without signing agreement. Oh my goodness, she's born again. No, don't try it. Sign agreements, follow details. Even with church members. Number three, patience. People are not patient. When you rush, impatience will push you to many errors. Number four, not hearing from God. You know, some people say, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Not hearing from God. I was in the U.S. one time. We went to the U.S. one day. When I entered that house, he said, God, that, that estate we went to, I was taken to pray for somebody who wants to dedicate his houses, uh, dedicate his shops. So, a pastor friend took mommy and I, drove off. When I entered that estate in the U.S., I will not name the city, but we are, it, it was an amazing estate. And I said, praise the Lord. Glory to God. As soon as I came to the door of the house, Something different came on me. The prophetic office began to manifest. They said, oh, Bishop, where, uh, was it Reverend or Bishop? Was, was it? He said, Reverend, welcome. Reverend, welcome. Oh, we'll be waiting for you, sir. Oh, Reverend, welcome. Wow. <laughs> what would you eat, sir? Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. The, if, you, if you look at it, it has gorgeous, everything beautiful painted. And as we're welcoming me, and I know the, that the, the pastor, his wife was shaking because the woman is, his, is her friend. I said, shall we pray? We join hands. I said, ladies and gentlemen, 
I sense divorce in this house. Eh? I sense that sign. I say, what I'm saying looks stupid. It doesn't make sense. Because everything is all spice, wonderful house, everything in place. This is U.S., great family. I said, but I sense divorce. Quickly. The woman just broke. She lost the circle. She began to cry. You are a man of God. You are a man of God. Yes, we pretended. So that after you go, her plan was once I go away, the following day is caught straight for divorce. How could I have known if I just went there to eat and drink? So, always hear from God. I can go there and prophesy to them, prophesy, prophesy. And they said, Look at that man, he came and he didn't even see what we were passing through. The Lord showed me the roots of their battle. Everything looked nice. They were smiling. I even saw food prepared there. It was, they, they were managing, pretending. So, hear from God. Hear from God. I have a book on that. I will talk more on that next week, but hear from God. Before you do business, hear from God. Before you, do, before you travel, hear from God. Before you marry, hear from God. There are people that marry to avoid fornication. That is stupid. It's a very good reason, but don't marry because I want to avoid fornication. Hear from God. Apart from marrying your friend, don't marry a church, your Christian sister, Christian brother. Marry a friend. Someone you love and you believe in. But don't just marry for avoiding fornication. Hear from God. Don't invest money because everybody's investing money. Hear from God. You are going for a visa. Did God say you should travel? It can be a mistake. And I know people who traveled and died there. Hear from God. Hear from God. Lord, should I travel today or tomorrow? Hear from God. I'm telling you why the people make mistakes. Hear from God. Hear from God. Hear from God. Don't move until he speaks. Don't move until God speaks. I'm not just saying it's automatic. But don't move until God speaks to you. And you will save yourself. See, I've looked at my life. The few times I've made terrible mistakes were the moments I was not patient to hear God. Hey, Chalabakasaya. I've looked at my life since I was born, or since I got born again 44 years ago. Years ago, by God's grace. Hear me carefully. The times I made mistakes, I'm human. If you laugh at my mistakes, <laughs> it is well because I admit I'm human. And I was a small boy when I got born again. So you can imagine my knowledge was in many things of life limited. I had limited knowledge in so many issues of life. And I was just a young boy that loved Jesus, that was going, all I was praying for was, Lord, come tomorrow, come tomorrow. I was doing evangelism from street to street, house to house. I would carry, you know, a bicycle to village to village. A small boy of 14, of I mean 15, 16 years. You know, when, when, when I got born again. So you see that, that at that moment, when I count my life, I found out that the few moments that I didn't listen I was impatient. I made mistakes. Maybe somebody pushed me, somebody hurried me, or people, you know, but I didn't listen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The next reason why people make mistakes is because they envy others. I want to be like X, Y, Z. I want to be like X, Y, Z. Hear me carefully. If you insist on taking something God did not give you, he will take back something he gave you. I say that again. If you insist on envying others, you want something God has not given you. It's not your own. You're looking at that woman, that lady. God will take your own from you. 
everybody was born with destiny. See, let me say this to you. In envy, you are counting the blessings of others. I love that song. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings. See, see what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And then what is it? And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Upon lies the blood. You know that song, by the way. But when you envy people, hear me. What happens is you are counting other people's blessings. Not your own. Oh my goodness. Stop counting people's blessings. Count your own. See what she's doing. See what he's wearing. See what. Oh, see my mates. Come on, come on. God will, will come through for you. Your father will come through for you. Amen. Jehovah shall come through for you. Amen. Come on, I prophesy. If you have ever envied people, those you envy, you shall overtake them. Amen. You shall overtake the overtakers. Amen. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Come on, yes, seven of them. Let's go, everybody. Amen. If whenever you are stand up and declare several times, I shall overtake my overtakers. Go ahead and decree to yourself, I shall not count other people's blessings from today. Come on, go ahead. I will count my own. Amen. You serve a God that can make a nobody somebody. God will make you a somebody. <laughs> you, are, you are envying somebody's. Well, you don't even know who they are, but your God will make you a somebody. Greater than those you are envying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stop counting other people's blessings. God has a habit of picking nobodies like us. <laughs> who knows me nobody like me I will make you somebody don't envy those many years ago those I used to envy today they can't even get to me to get to me they have to write letters and free forms I don't like it myself but God changed my story yes stop counting their blessing who I want to be like there are people I borrowed money from you hear my, you hear my stories next week you know, I'm telling you. So, please refuse to hire people. Don't be somebody's photocopy because God made you original. Be yourself and follow God's pace. And I was telling you about uh, David. I say, last week I said Moses. It, it's David who killed Uriah. I married Bathsheba. Some of the mistakes I have made in life, I will just run through some of them. Like inviting people, ships clothing. But I will talk about my mistakes next week. But this week, I want to end today's broadcast. It's so rich, but I want to talk to you about something about Genesis 1926. You, Kalabaya, Takebo, sir. After this, you will never be the same. Amen. Genesis 19 26 and Luke 17 32. Can you see that? Behold, his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Job's wife became a pillar of salt. And God is saying to somebody, Move on. I don't care how many mistakes you have made. Move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. There are your the days ahead of you are better. Look at Luke seventeen thirty two. Luke seventeen thirty two. First, glory to God. Jesus said three words in that in that scripture. That is Luke seventeen, verse thirty two. Only three words. Remember Lot's wife. That is the only woman in the Bible. They say you should remember. Oh my goodness. She has no name. 
The Jewish history says she is called Edith. Her name was Edith. <laughs> that's forget about that's not in the Bible. It's, it's you know I read a lot and also Jewish people. She, that woman has no name. He said, "Just hey, remember that woman, sir. Just remember the Lord's wife." Why the only woman in the Bible? He said, "Remember how, as you go through life, what did she do? She looked back. She was counting. Oh, oh, some years ago, I could have done this." Some weeks ago, oh, I'm a useless woman. No, no. She looked back. Whether looking at her mistake, looking at her failures, remember this. Lot going to Sodom and Gomorrah was a mistake. Yeah, because were, he, he, he and Abraham had a very big fight, a quarrel. The animals, you know, they are shepherds, they are fighting. So Abraham said, Lot, choose first. A mistake. Lot should have respected the nephew. The, the 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 elder to say ah papa 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 i'm sorry choose first abraham said lot choose anywhere you want to choose and when you finish choosing i will choose next and this young man actually chose first that was a big mistake and where he chose was full of green pastures then but it was later sodom and gomorrah and when God man had mercy on him, I profess that to you today. May you not waste God's mercy. Amen. See, God sent me to tell you this week, this month, He will give from this day, He will give you a second chance. Amen. I want to hear a very big amen. amen. Stop wasting God's mercy. God gave Lot a second chance. And maybe he even married the woman there. She may even be, I mean, a sodomite. Nobody knows her. And as we were away, she looked back and became a pillar of salt. Now, let me want to end this and tell you something. Pillar of salt. I asked God, why didn't you make her a pillar of pepper? <laughs> For as a punishment for the errors and his many mistakes. Why did God turn her into a pillar of any other chemical? Because salt is sodium chloride. Why did God choose sodium chloride and not any other commodity? Why did God make her a pillar of iron? Why did God make her a pillar of Anything. Pillar of salt. And then he was reminding me about the covenant of salt. That he said in a, in a, uh, in a, uh, I, I mean, what do you call it? Um, Numbers 18, 19, about the covenant of salt. Second Chronicles 13, 5 talks about David's throne being built on the covenant of salt. Glory to God. Go and check them out. Check Numbers 18, 19. Check 2 Chronicles 13, 5. It's a David's throne. David's kingdom is forever. Salt is good. But you know why God turned out my pillar of salt? Maybe as a scientist, I will answer it to my little knowledge. Salt is left under the atmosphere becomes poisonous. Salt in the open world is corrosive. Salt in the you know is good. Salt should be used as a, <laughs> a preservative, a disinfectant. Salt is used in between things, not outside. But like during snow, you can put salt, so not only you can melt the snow. You don't put salt in, in the in the atmosphere in the wilderness. It will become corrosive. It will become poisonous. So the same salt that is good in animals, in uh, meat, in this preservation, the same salt, if you cut that same salt and put it at a junction alone, open to all weather, 
That salt becomes a poison. Look at, behind me now, look at this. This is what I'm telling you about. You see this picture? It's a picture of the Lord's wife. She became a pillar of salt. <laughs> you see why I like our broadcast? We are, we, are, we are real. We are real. We are real. That's the picture. She became a pillar. The man was running. He did not look back. Look at it. Look at the statue. Come on. Sit well. Look at the woman. Lord's wife. She just became a, just like that. A pillar of salt. Now look at the bombshell. Anytime you look back, you become poisonous. Anytime you look back, your future becomes a poison. When you are lamenting your past, you become dangerous. Anytime you look back, you become corrosive. Hey! That's why God made her dangerous. So as people are passing, look at, when they are passing this woman, they say, hey, so she was, see, if, 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 you, if, you, if you leave your car, if you leave a piece of iron, leave, leave a piece of iron and some salt, leave it in the, in the, in the open wild, give me a few days. What leads to rusting is salt and iron. When you leave salt in the wild like this woman, instead of her beauty, she becomes rusted. I can speak to you. Don't rust your future. Don't poison your future. Don't destroy your future. Forget about the past. Move on. Remember Lot's wife. When you are depressed, you are condemning yourself. When nobody is there, each time you are depressed, each time you are, you are crying, because that error, that loss, that man that left you, that woman, that business failure, come on, you become a dangerous person to your future. You become dangerous to yourself. What was meant for good becomes bad. You become a poison. Looking back poisons your future. Yaraba Kase, Kinabo Sade, Malayano Shah, Kitara. I feel, see, the modern TV station is not for joke. I don't teach common things. By the grace of God, I sleep at around 6 a.m. This, 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 this morning. Studying and praying to God. Lord, these people need your word. Lord, give me your word. Lord, give me your word. Don't let me be common. Make me uncommon, the Lord. On the altar, I want to be uncommon. This is why you must not miss any of these services. This is why our TV station, let God make you a partner. Such word should come. We need partners. When we say, Bishop, go on bigger TVs. Go on, on, on TBN. Go on this. If you know God is leading you to become a, a, a partner of this TV station, so that we can ha have more stations, we can have more crowd, more millions, hear this kind of uncommon teaching, please send me a, a WhatsApp message to the number on the screen. These are not things you can find anywhere. Yes. Maybe my knowledge in school helps me. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's the Holy Ghost. I'm nobody. And I don't know anything. But the Lord keeps using me to bring the, this. That even bishops and pastors are asking me, how do, you, how do you know them? There's the world on the prayer mountain. Why did God not turn her to a pillar of oil? Just flowing like that. Or to a big river. To a salt. To show you. That like this salt ought to be good. But when you look back, you have a glorious future. But when you look back, you destroy yourself. You, you poison yourself. You become corrosive. Try to put iron and salt in the atmospheric, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the open atmosphere and, and watch what will happen. Rusting. Rusting is when, you see, Salt is NaCl, which is you know, sodium chloride plus oxygen 
You know what it will lead to? <laughs> you know what rust is? Huh. Poison. It can kill you. This is part one on Lot's wife. Let us pray right now. I got to pray, say, oh Lord, my God, oh Lord my God, I shall not poison my future. I will not poison my future. Stand up wherever you are. Pray that prayer. This is just part one. I am going to minister on part two. Please, next Sunday. Yes, I will not poison my future. I will not look back. I'm human. I've made mistakes. Forgive me, Lord. I will learn from my mistakes. Yilaba kosiya bahala. Gede katolo. Siyabole yade. Any mistake you have made, let God pull you out. Whatever you lost by your mistake, I prophesy. Please stretch your hands towards your screen. Put your hands on your on your on your telephone, your your TV, your TV, your smart TV, or put your hand on your laptop anywhere. Those watching on YouTube, those watching on Facebook, just put your hand wherever you are. I prophesy to you today by the Holy Ghost anointing over this, mi this mission, you are being restored back. Yeah. In Jesus' name, the mistakes you made, the, the, the things you lost by your mistake today, because you are saying, I will not look back like Lord's wife, I speak to you. You shall be restored. Yeah. That loss, God shall restore it. Yeah. The anointing will restore you. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will restore. All that you lost shall come back. Father, bring that man back. Bring that woman back. Bring that money back. Bring that miracle back. Bring the anointing back. Even you pastors who lost your anointing, take it back now. Take the grace back. Whatever you lost in your past, anywhere you are, take it now. Open your mouth, pray. Pray. Maybe you made some professional mistakes. Come on, there shall be restoration by the Holy Ghost anointing. <laughs> There's somebody watching in, in, the, in the U.S. The Lord says, don't be afraid. He said, yes, they told you you'll be laid up. He said, but I shall restore you. Somebody wrote a letter that put her in trouble. Don't say the Lord, I shall wipe it off. Don't look back, don't regret I shall wipe it off. Yeah. Somebody made some medical errors. I don't know what medical error you made in your past years. Don't say the Lord, your honor shall return to you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but your honor shall come back. It's a medical mistake. It could be misdiagnosis. It could be abortion, anything. Don't say the Lord, your honor shall come back. Yeah. Your homeless shall come back. Amen. You will not end the show. Amen. You give up. Somebody made a mistake of speaking, re revealing secret with your mouth. Don't say the Lord. You shall overtake them. Amen. Listen to me. This person I'm talking about. You're not bother. After you reveal those secrets, those that were behind you, they overtook you. But those said my papa. He says, I shall cause you to overtake. Give them a castle. Don't say the Lord this morning. Envy not. Envy nobody. Watch me. Trust me. Put your hands in my hands. I will raise you up. I will raise you up. And you shall become the envy of millions. I don't know who you are. Take it wherever you are now. Take it now. Say, so I shall be the envy of millions. I shall count my blessing. I will not look back. I will not miss next Sunday's broadcast. Nobody should miss it. But tell people about it. That they should all tune to this uh, YouTube and Facebook by next week. Announce it everywhere. Prepare the week. Buy that time in, in advance. Yalaba Kosada. Kilome Kasoto. Ngoni Yabosa. Ike Kayadu. Gushama Yadaka. Kelema Yadoha. Kulomo Yadote. Ngoyama. Kidamo Yade. Kiyadoro. Don't kill yourself. Say the Lord. Who Kaliyao? Who am I talking? I don't know who. Gilabon Gaze. Gulamo Zala. Gulamayada. Katoyama. Don't kill yourself. Kidama Kasata. Ngoni Yameza. Dede Yaba. You will be who I made you to be. I don't know who the Lord is talking to. You will be who I made you to be. Gineyada. 
Don't look down on yourself because I will look, I will take you up. Said the Lord. Amen. And always remember Lord's wife. I'll be right back. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. After our offerings, I used to say this to people. I don't, I don't want to say I'm giving God tithes. That's an insult. When I think about the gift of life, whatever he has done, I call it my vent ventilator seat. everything. Say, Jesus, I dedicate my life to you. I want to stop using my brain. Come into my heart, Jesus Christ. My life God, be my life God. Be my Lord. Jesus of Nazareth, wash away my sins. I believe you died for my sins. You were buried. You rose again from the dead. Change my heart so that I can live a life of purpose. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Thank you for giving me another chance. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, you are born again. Let me know through the number on the screen again. And then you want to be a TV partner? Number on the screen again. Just say, Bishop, I got born again today, Bishop. I will send you a material. And for those also who want to be TV partners, it's the same thing. Let's take our offerings very fast so that we can close on time. We are time, very time conscious here. God help us. I hope your network was good. We are able to receive us. God bless you. I love you so much. God bless you. I'll be back in a few minutes. Praise the Lord. You can also sow your seed, your offering to God during the weekdays. You can sow it tonight. If, if, because we don't want to waste time here using it. Just You can sow and say, Lord, I'm grateful. I call it ventilator seed. But I can breathe without buying a ventilator of $50,000. Lord, I thank you. So let nobody teach you to give. Give out of gratitude to God from the little that you have. Quickly, I will be Finishing this issue next week, it will be hot. <laughs> By God's grace. Question and answers, you know, will be next week. Also, if there's time. And also here I have announcements. And for those follow my Instagram page, it's on the screen already. That's my Instagram page. Let your friends know what is going on. Glory to God. That's the Insta Facebook. My Instagram page is there. 
God bless you. And it's been scrolled also under glory to God. And for those of you watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button also. Hit the subscribe button and hit so that when we are getting set for this, the, the hot session, today you learned something I'm sure you've never heard about Lot's wife. It will be greater. More, more meat and bone and, and, and grace coming for you next week. So hit the notification button so we will notify you before that broadcast starts. Hallelujah. And then don't forget that our daily manner. That is the root of everything you see today on earth about this vision. It's out. Walk to, if you're in Lagos, anywhere you are, please get your copy. Call your distributor. Anywhere you are. And if you want to get a copy, you don't know how to get it, send to that number on the screen. There's also the soft copy. We also have a soft copy. I will also show you how to get this all that that this 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 number will show you everything whatever inquiries that you want to make hallelujah Amen. glory to god now quickly i want to say this to you um there's no time anymore i wish i really had time to stay more with you i love you so much i wish i can stay more with you and just spend the time and enjoy god with you but i have to go because the next service is about to start Glory to God. And I'll be back in the next service again. God bless you. But remember this before you go. If God gives you a picture of your future, it will probably be the opposite of the present. I repeat that again. If God gives you a picture of your future, it will probably be, it will not be like where you are today. It will be opposite. Your future is great. Focus on your giants and you will stumble. Focus on your God and your giants will tumble. Glory to God. Focus on your tomorrow and your giants will tumble. You focus on your giants, you stumble. Don't poison your future like this woman. Don't poison, don't make your future corrosive. After this service now, kneel down wherever you are. Pray by the week. Prophesy, I'm a great woman. I'm a great man. My future is wonderful. I will not poison it. I prophesy every prayer point you brought. Put it on your screen now. Prayer point. I lose a miracle. Amen. Testimony. Amen. The Holy Ghost anointed. Amen. Yokes are breaking. They that want to put you in trouble shall enter trouble. Amen. You shall escape every evil arrow. Amen. This week, grace follows you. Amen. Promotion follows you. Amen. And remember, your restoration have, have started. Amen. Your restoration have started. Amen. Always say, I'm a great woman. I'm a wonderful woman. I love you so much. I'm a great man. I'm a wonderful man. Say to yourself, don't condemn yourself anymore. Stop looking back. Remember Lot's wife and don't poison your wonderful future. God bless you. See you in the next service.